Embroidery is a manual work in which fabrics and textiles are decorated with needle and thread. The various embroidery techniques and styles differ considerably, focus will be on freestyle embroidery or colored embroidery. This decorative embroidery method with its various stitches has worked independently of the material interweaving and allows you to embroider any design, whether abstract or natural and representational, onto any fabric. Colored embroidery offers you fantastic flexibility in creating beautiful designs with the colorful sewing thread and special textile fibers. Embroidery is a craft that consists of, the ornamentation of a flexible surface, fabrics, skins, with textile threads or small manipulated mineral elements, with no help other than the use of a needle, since not in all cases a frame is used, and that represents one of the oldest sumptuary arts of humanity. Embroidery has adorned since ancient times, both the costumes, mantles or clothing of the warriors and priestly elites such as banners, flags and heraldic fabrics or an endless number of fabrics for domestic use, tablecloths, bedding, shirts, etc. 15th Century Chasuble Chasuble, 15th Century, Source Wikipedia Already in the Bible we find references to embroidered veils and curtains and to the frequent use of embroidery in the Hebrew people for the decoration of sacred objects. Homer also refers to the embroiderers that Paris brought from Sidon and Tyre. Veils and sheets worked with a needle and dark brown thread have also been found in Egyptian tombs, and in Greek and Roman times embroidery was traded between different cultures. It is believed that the art of embroidery was born in China, where motifs from nature suns, moons, mountains, or mythological, the famous dragons, were used to adorn the clothing of high dignitaries, with extraordinarily harmonious chromatic effects. Chinese Embroidery X. Eva, C. Chinese Embroidery, 4th century BC, Source Wikipedia. During the Middle Ages, trade with the countries of the East led to a progressive spread of embroidery throughout Europe, creating specialized workshops highly appreciated by both monarchies and high ecclesiastical estates, especially in areas such as present-day Italy or England. From the 14th century on, France and Flanders also became renowned places for their needlework, with France reaching a supremacy that would not diminish until the end of Napoleon's empire at the beginning of the 19th century. At first the motifs and stitches used were an imitation of oriental motifs, but in the 16th century, embroideries began to be made with counted threads, white on white, much more sober and of clearly European origin. 1800 Coat Jacket, around 1800, Source, Wikipedia During most of the 19th century, Embroidery was relegated to the rural popular classes in more practical and modest applications that are transmitted from generation to generation, until from the second half of the century, those techniques that had been forgotten returned to cities recovering the value they had in the past. In the 20th century, the modernization of daily life gave rise to a new recession in the practice of the art of embroidery, its use being relegated almost exclusively to the religious sphere and to the decoration of garments of a floral nature, in very delicate and exquisite executions, from where the idea arose that embroidery was something extremely complicated and that too much time was required for the rhythm of life that society was acquiring. However, during the 70s there was a momentary approach to artisan techniques in general and embroidery in particular, which highlighted that embroideries could be made much more affordable in time and difficulty, and that with the arrival of the years 90 and the boom of the cross stitch. Embroidery is a manual work in which fabrics and textiles are decorated with needle and thread. The various embroidery techniques and styles differ considerably, focus will be on freestyle embroidery or colored embroidery. This decorative embroidery method with its various stitches has worked independently of the material interweaving and allows you to embroider any design, whether abstract or natural and representational, onto any fabric. 
Colored embroidery offers you fantastic flexibility in creating beautiful designs with the colorful sewing thread and special textile fibers. The finest form of textile upgrading is embroidery. Due to its high durability and temperature resistance, embroidery threads are particularly durable, even after many washes and daily use. This quality feature is a great advantage, especially for work clothes and other heavily used textiles. Embroidery is clearly a trend today, and also one of my favorite DIY topics. Because with embroidery a lot can be embellished, individualized and personalized. Embroidery is also super meditative, you can do it well during a film or on the train and you basically only need three utensils, embroidery frame, embroidery needle and embroidery thread. Regardless of whether you have experience in embroidery or are just starting out, everyone will find embroidery motifs, embroidery ideas and inspiration for the next or first embroidery project here. Embroidering fabric is of course a big issue. Embroidery is a popular way to give clothes more individuality and to refine textiles. Basic materials such as leather or fabric are artfully decorated by sewing on or pulling the yarn threads through. You can find embroidery in all cultures and religions of the world. The motifs range from simple small patterns and flowers to everyday scenes to elaborate images such as births, weddings or even death. Some embroidery is kept simple, others very imaginative and detailed. The embroidery trade looks back on a long history. Finds show that it was already 5000 BC. Were embroidered clothes in various regions such as Egypt, China and South America. A region of origin for the embroidery cannot be filtered out. In the early days of embroidery, geometric figures were first embroidered. It was only later that items of clothing and objects were embellished with figurative representations and whole pictures. Gold threads, ribbons and pearls were also used for finishing. Decorating clothes quickly grew in popularity. Noble embroidery was found on the robes and cloaks of Roman consuls, tribunes and emperors. In the Middle Ages, monasteries also used embroidery to produce liturgical vestments or to refine textiles used in church rooms. Embroidered fabrics were always seen as a sign of prosperity, as embroidery cost a lot of time and money. Because of this, this craft was a privilege reserved for the affluent population or served for religious purposes. Aristocratic women learned to create the most beautiful textile decorations possible in their childhood. Development of the first embroidery machines, embroidery became increasingly important over time. In view of the great demand, inventors tried to simplify the time-consuming hand embroidery by machines. The Industrial Revolution in particular changed textile technologies from the ground up. This not only applied to sewing, but also to embroidery. In the middle of the 19th century, the Swiss Franz Rittmeyer and Anton Vogler developed the very first mechanical embroidery machine, which pulled the thread back and forth through a vertically stretched piece of fabric and in this way imitated hand embroidery. The machine worked on the same basic principle as modern embroidery machines. As the fabric moves, the needle always sticks to the same point. The movement of the fabric was controlled by a so-called pantograph. Around the same time, the Swiss Isaac Grobly invented the first large embroidery machine, the so-called Sheafly machine. This combined the techniques of large looms with those of sewing machines and worked with an upper and lower thread. The advantage was that both threads were unwound on bobbins, eliminating the laborious threading of the hand embroidery machine. Here, too, the movement of the material was controlled by a pantograph. But these two inventions were just the beginning. Just like sewing machines, embroidery machines were constantly evolving. The more advanced embroidery machines worked with many needles at the same time and greatly accelerated embroidery. A new branch of textile processing soon emerged, industrial embroidery. 
Embroidery in this day and age. A milestone in the history of embroidery is the year 1913, when the Sauer Company in Arben succeeded in creating an embroidery machine that made 100 stitches per minute and produced high-quality embroidery. A special feature for back then. Today's embroidery machines are electronically controlled and do a lot more. Up to 1400 stitches per minute are possible with high-performance embroidery machines. In addition to the computer-controlled embroidery machines, punch software is also often used. Through this, a wide variety of motifs can be implemented in detail. From simple logos to complex decorations, anything is possible. In this way, unique textiles and high-quality, hardwearing advertising media are created. For example, companies have their clothing embroidered with their logo but embroidery is also very popular in the private sector. Women in particular regard this craft as a pleasant pastime where they can relax and at the same time create small stick works of art. In the past, embroidery was purely manual work. Today, machine embroidery is the perfect solution to have your textiles finished. To refine clothes in this very special way and to make something special and special. Embroidering clothes is gaining more and more interest. The embroidery turns textiles into unusual designer pieces. If you are a member of a club, you can show your affiliation with an embroidered logo. Effective advertising for companies. The embroidery is the highest quality and most durable variant of the presentation. From the motif to the embroidery you only need the template of the motif. From this we create the embroidery program. 